Welcome back to Loose Tube. Today you'll learn how to swage stops and sleeves using the number five hydraulic press from Lock. For swaging copper, aluminum, and stainless steel oval and stop sleeves, nothing produces a high number of assemblies faster than Lock's number five H. Occasionally known as the production pusher, this press is capable of swaging at 800 PSI every second or at 8,000 PSI every six seconds. When assembling, refer often to your operator's manual. The manual contains instructions and diagrams that will assist you through every step of setup and use. You will also find guidance for troubleshooting the machine, instructions for maintenance, and other helpful tips. Once you have mounted the vertical frame and power unit to the table, the only thing to do will be to ensure that the hydraulic oil level is sufficient, that the hoses are connected to the correct ports, and that the ram return micro switch is installed. To install, simply align with the die shoe mount and press down until you hear a click. Tighten at this point. You are now ready to install the dies into the die shoe. The die sets for the number 5H are secured with four screws and are easily changeable. Be sure never to operate the machine with the dies removed from the die shoe. This can ruin the die shoe and cause injury. Before each operation, be sure that the hydraulic oil level is sufficient and the ram return micro switch is set to the off in the clicked up position. Be sure to only use a hydraulic oil that is meant to be used in high PSI applications. Plug the press into a 120 volt 60 Hz outlet. The LCD display backlight will come on and the machine will be in auto mode. Press the green start button to power up the hydraulic pump. Set the pressure using this switch checking the pressure gauge located here beneath the table. Refer to your included manual for a detailed table of recommended pressure settings for all sizes of sleeves and stops. To swage, simply position the fitting at your desired location on the cable. Place into the die and depress the foot pedal. The machine will automatically cycle and you will be ready for the next swage. Be sure to refer to your manual for the proper number of compressions. Some sizes of sleeves require two passes through the machine. Be sure to check the after swage diameter to ensure that a proper swage has been achieved. A properly swaged fitting will hold the brake strength of the cable. Thank you for watching Loose Tube. Be sure to subscribe below for updated content and click the links for the next videos in the series.